Today, we'll be taste testing new vegan products for Green Rebel. Hi, I'm Meow. I'm Dash. And, and we are from Abillion. Your go-to app for discovering great vegan food and products. Green Rebel is an Indonesian-born food tech company making textured plant-based beef and chicken from plants with deliciously authentic Asian flavors. Oh my god, it's satay. It's satay! It says that it um, tastes naughty, yet healthy. Okay, I'm gonna see if it tastes naughty. <laughs> <laughs> it has a bit of flour kind of taste, which I'm not sure if I like it or not. But I do like the sauce that it came with, the, the sambal ketchup. It's a bit of spice to it. I wouldn't say it tastes like beef, but it is like really tender, and it's savory, Correct. and it's warm. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good, it's really tender. Juicy. Ooh. What's this? Chicken karage. It says over here, uh, there's a pretty good breakdown at the back of the box. It tells you why it's good for you, why it's good for the planet. Hmm. I'm gonna let you take a bite first and let me know what you think. Oh, has a bit of mushroomy taste. I don't know why, but it's chewy. And usually when I'm looking for plant-based meat alternative, I'm just looking for the texture. Oh, it's so cool. It has strands and it looks like meat. It's really good. Like the seasoning is really great. It's like just the right saltiness. Yeah. And it's a little bit garlicky. I think it's the vegetable seasoning. It's really good. And in terms of like texture, it is chewy, but I really like it. I like how crispy it gets on the outside. I'm sorry, I'm still chewing. <laughs> 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 the host has gone off the rails. What is it? What is it? Mushroom patty. If it's a patty, um, I imagine like a little bit more moist or like correct. squishiness. It does look like I think a bunch of mushrooms, which I don't mind because I like mushrooms. It's actually really good. Put it in a burger with some buns and package it like a burger. I will happily eat it. And I think once you add a bunch of sauce and other ingredients, I think it will balance it out. <laughs> I want you to imagine like cream of mushroom soup reduced. <laughs> and then like pat it into a patty. And I like it, I like it for what it is. Yeah. It's just not what you expect. Chicken. It looks like chicken katsu. Yep. I like this more. I think this is more close to like a chicken breast. The, the, the seasoning I think is different. Uh, it does just say vegan seasoning on it. You don't know what's in it. Mysterious but it has a bit more garlicky taste compared to the other. Mm -hmm. I feel that it tastes a bit fishy. Fishy. Do you not think it tastes a little fishy? Hang on, just processing. I think that the texture is, mm. like you said, very much like the karage, but a little bit denser, like less, mm. less strands. I do like it for what it is, but it is a little bit dry. It does taste a little bit fishy, but that could be a personal opinion. It's not gonna be exactly like chicken, but I think it's delicious. Um, <laughs> it looks like curry. Yeah, rendang, I guess. It smells yep. like Smells like rendang. Beefless rendang. Okay, okay, here, cheers. Okay. <laughs> I love its flavor. Love it for a sight. For t for I can taste. totally imagine eating this with rice, like which is how you would normally serve it. It stays here, rice. So I think this is pretty spicy. I mean, it's not spicy, spicy. Initially, it felt spicy, but I think yeah. this with rice, yeah. I think it will balance it out really yeah. well. I think because it's a marinating, marinating in the sauce. The texture is moist, chewiness, so good. Flavor, I think like they got the beef <laughs> rundown flavor down. It feels like the the gravy, the sauce yeah. was made fresh because you can you can feel the fiber of the coconut, whatever it is. Maybe, maybe. Maybe the bits of like the onion or like bits of the chili. Correct. I think it's great. It's like a super good dish. Correct. So Dash, <laughs> which is your favorite? I think I have to go with the, the rendang. I agree, I agree. I really like the beef rendang, it was so good. Yeah, it looks like it was freshly prepared. Everything was on point. Um, how about the least favorite? I think for me was the karage. Overall, it was still okay, but compared to the rest, mm -hmm. it was not as impressive. I think they were all great, but my least favorite's got to be this one. Mainly because oh, it, the katsu. yeah, I mean like the katsu is good, it's good, but it did taste fishy and I didn't expect that. <laughs> so overall, what did you think, Dash? Uh, I think not knowing Green Rebel before today, I'm pretty impressed by products they have decided to launch. Glad that they're bringing Southeast Asian local cuisine with plant-based alternatives. I like the fact that most of them, or in fact all of them, are super easy to prepare. Like it's a feel-good feel good meal. If you like this video, make sure to like and share it with your friends and let us know in the comment box below what you'd like us to try next. 